drunk clown. Like, I'm not joking. There's this dude dressed up in a clown costume, like wobbling side to side, all drunk and shit. And I noticed that he had something in his hand. I just hear a loud, like, What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going to be playing some Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Psych! I'm too f***ing broke to afford that shit. So instead, we're going to be playing some Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Bruh. And I don't even want to hear shit bro because this is the most goaded Call of Duty of all time. Now, nah, but this video is going to be a little bit different in spirit of Halloween, which is right around the corner. I decided that today I was going to be talking about my scariest moment, my scariest story that I've ever dealt with i decided that today i was going to tell you guys my scariest story of all time like the most horrific thing that's ever happened to me and i'm gonna be doing it with some call of duty gameplay in the background it was gonna be like a live cut com type of video but for whatever reason i keep having technical difficulties i shit you not this is i literally counted it this is the eighth time that i've you recorded this same video bro so i'm tired of this shit i'm just gonna have some gameplay in the background of call of duty because i know that bl6 is popping right now but unfortunately like i said i don't have it so this story all starts in mexico and i don't know if it's just me bro but anytime that i hear anything about mexico it automatically makes it like 40 times scarier like you can tell me that there's like a 15 ufo sightings in the usa or in russia or some shit like that and i'll be like mm, maybe they, it's just ai they faked it or some shit like that but if you tell me that bitch is located in mexico best believe that i think is true so this all takes place in mexico where my family is from and now usually whenever we go to mexico it is for the holidays because we go and visit our family during the holidays whenever we get the chance and this was no different now just keep in mind that i was very very young when this happened so not everything is going to be perfectly accurate but i'm going to try to retell what i remember so it was during one of those times where we were visiting for the holidays our entire family and me my cousins my siblings everybody at my grandmother's house may her soul rest in peace and basically my grandma's house was like the go-to spot it was a hangout spot everybody was right there and if you weren't right there you were missing out and tonight was one of those nights like i shit you not like sometimes it would be like 10 of us maybe more and we would all be sleeping over and tonight was one of those nights where everybody was sleeping over all the cousins are there we we're all having a good ass time and then it came to nighttime and right before we go to bed my aunt would usually always give us some dinner and the dinner usually was always like some type of tacos like some regular papas con chorizo or papa con huevo or just something like that but it was always like some little tacos for dinner and tonight was going to be no different she was going around asking us how many each of us wanted she was about to start cooking but then she realized that she didn't have any tortillas Yes. but thankfully the supermarket was like basically right around the corner from my grandma's house so she told us that she was gonna go buy some and then she'll be right back we're like okay you know she goes we're still over here having a good time we're all playing blah 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 then like 15 to 20 ish minutes later she gets back and when she gets back she opens the door comes inside and tells us hey like can you guys come outside help me with the groceries because she ended up buying more than just the tortillas because i guess they were like low on a lot of stuff so that's exactly what we do i go outside some of my cousins go outside we start helping her bringing all the stuff when out of nowhere from the corner of my eye i was a first one to see him i see that in the middle of the street there's this random drunk clown like i'm not joking there's this dude dressed up in a clown costume like wobbling side to side all drunk and shit and i noticed that he had something in his hand now i didn't exactly see what was in his hand but i just knew that there was something in his hand so i thought huh that's odd but not unusual you know people in mexico they like to party you know they get drunk it's like a typical thing that we see all the time so i just chalked it up to be another just drunk guy going home and this guy was minding his business as well so we're like we're just not gonna bother him we're just gonna let him do his own thing that doesn't concern us whatever but then instead of just walking right by us like he was he notices us and his focus now turns to us and not my aunt but the little ass kids so he starts looking at us starts walking kind of towards us and starts telling us a bunch of these things and i forgot exactly what he said but it was like pretty up things like you guys are fucking brats like stuff like that you know and that's when my aunt had enough of that shit she was like kids go inside let me handle this motherfucker and as i was already walking inside i just hear a loud like loud ass boom and that's when my aunt basically throws me inside and she slams the door shut and when she does that i go inside and then i see that everybody's like hiding they're all under the tables because the way that the layout of this house is is as soon as you walk in through the front door you're instantly in the living room of that house and i saw everybody under the living room table i saw a lot of them running to my grandma's house and hiding under her bed and i was just so confused i was like why the fuck is everybody hiding and that's when everybody's like get down get down like hide and i was like okay like i was still confused but i decided to do it anyway but then i see my cousins they're all panicking they start 
start crying and as a little kid i mean like if you see everybody around you start to cry or like get angry or whatever you're kind of gonna reflect off of their emotions so i saw everybody crying so i started crying too and i didn't even know for what but then you can kind of hear it through the window my tia she was yelling at this person but then out of nowhere shit just gets completely quiet so now i'm scared i'm like wait my aunt is outside my aunt is outside and everybody's like no like you can't go open the door you can't go outside stay put and then that's when i hear another loud ass boom and now i'm really panicking now i'm crying because two and two somehow finally clicked together in my head and i'm like i saw something in his hand and i hear two loud as booms like what else can it be besides a gun so now i start crying but with an actual purpose this time like now i'm crying because i think that something bad happened to my aunt now after another like 15 minutes thankfully my aunt comes busting through the door and we run towards her like hey are you okay and she's like yes 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 i'm fine like everybody keep hiding like don't get out of your spots and after some time had passed we finally asked my aunt like hey like what the hell just happened and that's when she tells us that when i was outside with her when i was the last one outside picking like helping her get the groceries or whatever that loud ass boom was confirmed to be a gunshot and when she saw that she threw me inside and she basically started yelling at the guy but she saw that he had a weapon so then she decided to be quiet instead and start hiding and now after some time this dude was so and drunk is so fucked up that he didn't even realize what the hell he was doing so after some time thankfully this guy wasn't like searching for my tia or anything he just kept walking and that second loud ass boom was literally just this guy just shooting into the sky so that's what both booms were thankfully they weren't directed towards anybody especially my aunt or any of us he was just drunk and just shooting at the sky for whatever reason so obviously my aunt decided to you know contact the the fed let them know and to this day i don't know if anything did happen but it's mexico and i'm not trying to be that person but you know the feds in mexico are kind of useless but yeah thankfully nothing ever happened after that mother didn't come back nothing happened to my aunt nothing happened to any of us but it was definitely the most traumatic like experience of my life especially since i was so young and for some shit like that to happen shit was bad yeah man hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i apologize if the ending wasn't what a lot of people were maybe expecting it to be like i got shot and almost died or something or i was getting chased but thankfully not a bunch of scary shit has happened in my life either but this was definitely still traumatic and still horrifying so hopefully you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys all in the next one peace